Namaskar everyone. In today's video, I thought I would talk about, just as the heading of the video says, I would talk about my depression, how I took psychiatric drugs for it, of my two relapses after I was able to withdraw of my psychiatric drugs. One of the relapse was because I had a breakup and then the second relapse. Like in today's video, I want to be really vulnerable with you. I want you to know why I make this video second is psychiatric drugs. The objective of this video is to not tell you that you shouldn't go to a psychiatrist or psychologist. It's nothing like that. I just want to share my life story with you and how I became like this so that, you know, you might be able to relate with me. So it all started like this. When I was young, I was in Qatar and I did my schooling over there since my dad worked over there. And uh, I had a lot of exam fear and exam stress. Before the exams, I used to start crying. I couldn't, my hands used to shiver and so on. You now till this date, I used to blame my parents for putting pressure on me. But now I don't do that. I have accepted the responsibility that my stress and my tension was my own making. Because my cousin who used to live with us, he was also put to the same kind of school, through the same kind of expectations and everything. But he never developed any kind of stress. So that's another matter. So what happened was, uh, due to this excessive exam fear, my parents started getting concerned. And they consulted some physicians, family doctors and they told, Yeah, just like you see a doctor for diabetes, for cancer, for your fever, it's totally okay to see a psychiatrist. So they were like, okay, let's give it a try. So they took me to a psychiatrist over there and within like one hour that person gave me diagnosis of OCD and minor depression. I was put on the psychiatric drug Prozac. Prozac is supposed to be the miracle antidepressant which will cure you like this. And to be truthful, after taking that drug, in a week I was feeling very calm. I was like no thoughts of exam, no fear. Wow, this should be awesome. This is a miracle drug. But things started changing after that. Within a month, I had my first seizure while watching a movie. What is a seizure? A seizure is where you black out, you shiver and fall down on the ground. I don't know whether you have seen it in movies. You can just check in Google what a seizure is, if you do not know that. But it's not a very good thing. I blacked out and when I woke up, I remember waking up with a brain splitting headache and I was put into MRI scans to check whether there was some problem with my brain or something like that. But nothing of that sort came. So when I told this to my psychiatrist, she was like, oh, it must be something genetic, you know, you were a grandfather, grandmother, someone might have, might have had a seizure. So the fact is, when you check your grandmother, great-grandmother or someone else, someone in your family would have had some kind of seizure. So the genetic cause was stuck to it. But my parents didn't believe it. They had, they had the gut feeling that it must have been because of the drug. So I stopped all my studies in Qatar and we came back to Kerala. And here we saw the best psychiatrist in Kerala. He was supposed to be, he was graduated from Niman, supposed to be the best mental health institute in India. And he was supposed to be the best over there. So he said, yeah, it, it might be because of the drug. So what we'll do is, we will give you the Indian version. These are very safe and in lower doses. So you will be perfectly all right, my son. I'm really sorry. Like I am outdoors and in India when you are outdoors there are a lot of cars going on, there are people shouting from here and there, the people cleaning their roads, so much things are going on, a lot of background noises going on so please bear with me, you know try to tune out the background noises because I really want to make this video uh, and I hope you don't stop watching it just because of the disturbances, yeah, yeah. So he put me on the Indian version of the drugs and uh, by this time I had joined the school in Kerala and because of the side effect of these drugs, I was very angry. You know, I used to sleep a lot. And I had three more seizures. The supposedly safe Indian medicines gave me three more seizures. So once you have had three seizures, it is said that you will be epileptic for life. I was told that I couldn't ride a bike alone, I couldn't travel alone, I couldn't go for swimming. You know, all that stuff that I was supposed to do at a young age, I was told I couldn't do. That I needed to take my psychiatric drugs lifelong. This was what I was told. <laughs> yeah, and uh, by this time I was in my college, I was doing my engineering. I used to sleep a lot, you know, I used to continuously sleep for 3-4 hours. So, when I told this to my psychiatrist, uh, he said, Oh, see, when you're playing, you don't sleep. It's only when you're studying or in your class that you're sleeping. It means that you are not interested. That's, that's what, it's not the drug, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's the explanation that he gave me, but it was clear that it was a drug that was making me sleep. 
you know life was getting to a point where i did not want to live anymore you know what what is the use of living such a life where you are not you can't do anything and you are dependent on a drug to get through the day Uh, that's when my parents came to the college and talked to the professors that I have certain issues and that's why he's sleeping in class because it had become a big problem because the professors actually thought that I was being very rude to them you know a student sitting in the front bench and sleeping that's not something you do uh, so that's when uh, one of my group tutors he told me that there is a certain clinical psychologist why don't you see him so i thought my parents and me thought okay why not let's try this so when we went and saw him he told me that you do not need psychiatric drugs that this drug is just a pharmaceutical scam and all that stuff but i didn't believe it okay i was like no 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 so many doctors i have met all around india and abroad they have all told drugs are important so what is he saying but still my dad said no we need to be here uh, let's go to him only so i thought okay anyway let's see what happens i can do because there is much no more much hope for me so i thought i would do with it and i am a kind of person if i involve in something i involve in it totally so when i was involved with that person i did whatever he asked me to do and within 2 months just 2 months i was taken off all my drugs sorry just and within 2 months i was taken off all my drugs i was you know it took me an extra year but i finished my engineering where i had 20 back papers i completed it actually so i was very happy so the experience that i had gone through i know what depression felt like and i didn't want people to take drugs for it so so i thought this clinical psychology is a good method for me to help people and i thought i would also do it so then uh, with all this full you know vigor and all i joined the i joined for my masters in psychology in gujarat and i thought i would create bigger revolutions you know i was very happy at that time everything was going good <laughs> and then my first relapse there i met this beautiful girl and i actually fell in love with that person you know it just for two weeks thing and i am the kind of person you know who gets very attached to people and uh, for me um, for me i do anything only with my parents permission and they had a strict thing for arranged marriage okay so i i thought uh, so i thought i'll talk to my parents and uh, i will set this up when i know this when when i clearly knew that was not going to happen so i returned back to kerala and i talked to my parents about this and they didn't agree and then i crashed it was actually very hard for me you know i had a very big relapse i almost quit my masters course you know i dreaded sleeping um i didn't want to sleep because when i because when i used to wake up my hands used to literally shiver i used to look at my hands shivering like what the hell is happening you know when i sat in a movie i couldn't sit there i used to have panic attacks i actually know what a panic attack is you know it's terrible it's something that i wouldn't wish anyone would suffer uh, so but somehow i managed i overcame it somehow i managed family support with um, the clinical psychologist support or somehow i managed to overcome it but from then on this thought was always inside me my happiness was always dependent on my external situations like right now i fell in love with a girl i was very happy when it didn't work out boom i crashed why is this going on like is this the way i am supposed to exist so this question always used to you know keep in me and uh, i completed that masters course and then uh, i got admission for my clinical psychology in lucknow and again i started you know the second relapse again stress started coming up you know i was tensed of coming to a new place i was tensed of whether i would be able to do the research i was tensed whether i would be able to manage these things and i again started losing my sleep again had again started having panic attacks again started crying i couldn't wake up and you know simple things like brushing my teeth taking a shower it all be- it all started becoming such a big struggle for me so that's when i used to read sadguru books you know reading this book it used to confuse me even more and make me even more anxious but some i thought i need to do this you know like i talked in one of my previous videos about the inner engineering experience i went to the ashram and stayed but you feel calm when you are in the ashram but when i came back it was again you know stress and anxiety and all uh but then i did my inner engineering and now after that 7 days i'm just so free 
so open so blissful so ecstatic you know i can just sit here right now and tears of joy will come and the main reason that uh, i did clinical psychology and i chose to do psychology was i wanted people to have a tool a tool with which i could help them to overcome their issues their depression uh, their anxiety struggles because i know the thing that happens over here you know it's very real for the person suffering um, but uh, you cannot prove it through a blood test through a scan but it's very real and i can identify with that so so i made this video uh, not to gain sympathy or to gain more views or anything but i know how important this is and inner engineering is a tool that did wonders for me and i'm sure it will help you out also uh, <laughs> I know my parents will be watching this video right now and uh, you know you're going to get a lot of questions from relatives about my breakup about my depression and all that and it would really mean a lot to me amma and acha if you could you know who are asks you if you could tell them yeah that's our son and we are proud of him and that's that's all what he has gone through and he has overcome it that would i would it would really mean a lot to me but even if you are not able to do that even if you are not able to accept this video i'm still okay with it because i need to do this and uh, i have done it i know compared to my rest of my brothers and cousins i might not look successful i don't have a job huh? i'm not married i am 27 years old but the thing is over here i feel i'm quite successful the way i involve with people the way people deal with me the way i love people i feel quite successful and that means a lot to me so you know i'm quite happy nowadays you know it's i i do not do things for happiness and peace you know there was a time when i used to run around and that happiness and peace was ultimate but now it's already there i'm already happy and peaceful whatever i do it's not for happiness and peace it's for fulfillment i'm getting a lot of fulfillment and uh, and if each one of you each one of you watching it deserves that uh, so hope you like my video do subscribe to my channel and do give me a like and uh, share this with someone you know who might be going through a depression or something of that sort because believe me the world needs inner engineering i believe it needs inner engineering and it's a powerful tool and it will definitely help you whoever you are whichever faith you belong to uh, whatever diet you follow it's just a tool namaskaram